Good morning. Today is Monday, the day after WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes finished his story. And today in New York, we are going to see uh, certain areas. We'll see a full eclipse, which is one of those events. Um, here in the area where I live, I think I will only be, will only experience, be able to see a partial eclipse. But still, you need glasses like this to make you look like you're into the, in, in the Matrix. They are very dark. I cannot see anything, in all honesty. But, but they work for the sun, so... It protects your eye more than uh, your regular glasses, you know. Um, hopefully, I can get to see it. I'm still debating whether I want to go to work or whether I want to see and watch the clips because that's one of the things that you only experience don't see in a lifetime. And me being from Puerto Rico, it's like I don't remember if I ever saw. I just saw a lunar eclipse in Puerto Rico one time. I don't remember seeing. Um, <clears throat> A full uh, eclipse. So I don't know. I feel like if I go to work because I work in retail, I'm going to get busy and I'm going to be able to probably watch the eclipse and enjoy it as if I stay here and I do nothing besides it's my last day on my job because tomorrow I start a new job and um, I also got other things to take care of before tomorrow. Um, hmm, it's a tough question, honestly. Um, it's in any, in any case, yeah. Tomorrow I start a new job. I got a job offer, and I'm excited because someone says it's, it's something different, something that I know that I can do. At the same time, I'm not going to deny that I am nervous and I don't know what to expect. And I think my first day, I'm probably going to be totally completely lost. Um, but I've been writing my notes of like how I'm going to teach, uh, what I'm going to do it, you know, and um. So yeah, I got offered a position as a algebra teacher. Yeah, algebra. Algebra. I took algebra when I was in high school. Back in, um, um, started taking algebra in grade nine, grade I took algebra two, tenth grade I took geometry, eleventh grade I took algebra and trigonometry, and then in <clears throat> in twelfth grade I took uh, precalculus in Puerto Rico. I didn't want to a private school. Didn't want to to a school here in New York State. I, I did went to school in Puerto Rico. I went to a private school. And um, in college, when I went to engineering, I took Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, and then um, differential equations. And then I took advanced math, applied for uh, chemical engineering, and, um, and even in grad school, I still took some classes where I took more math. I, in one class here in uh, at RPI, when I did uh, went for my... PhD degree in 2004, 2005, I took a um, math class for chemical engineering. Um, and, and even then, like the area of, uh, that I like a lot in, in, in environmental engineering and, and chemical engineering in general is the area of, uh, of um, transport and modeling. You know, I have this book and it explains a little bit. And uh, sometimes the math can get very very difficult but we simplify it a little bit you know like like there are ways of simplifying a complicated math like like this type of equations the ones that were the, the, the partial differential equations i used to be able to solve it i haven't solved it in a while so but yeah um we go that far with uh some of the math um but like it says here sometimes we can simplify like for example this one this one is a um this one is for when you have a control volume, so if, if, and it's only depend on time, uh, but if everything seems to be constant or the volume is constant, uh, then you can simplify it and you just get a regular simple algebraic equation that doesn't change much. And um, that's easier to solve than a, a differential equation, you know. There are some cases that you don't have that option, you know, but it depends on, again, it depends on what you're, what you're doing, you know. And it depends also on, 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 on what you're modeling, too, you know. Um, <coughs> if you're modeling smart particles, that's a little bit different, you know, follow different particle dynamics. Um, and, and again, it all depends what you're trying to model, you know, whether there are chemical interactions or not. So I do like math. I do enjoy math. I do like solving math problems or trying to solve them. Um, 
I have to admit, I'm crossed. I haven't touched like partial differential equations, but I'm going to be teaching algebra, an algebra I like. I do like math, and I was good at it when I was younger. And uh, this book I found at, at Barnes and Nobles, and uh, it's been a reference for me to review some of the stuff. And um, very good book, really recommend it for anybody that wants to review math or if you want to help your child with uh, algebra. This is a great book. Um, Mentions are good and it has a lot of problems. Um, <coughs> it's the first time that I'm going to be teaching. I haven't worked as a teacher. I used to be a TA in, in college for some um, basic level courses of engineering. I remember being a TA in Puerto Rico uh, with my advisor in environmental engineering, um, but I never got the chance to teach neither at college level or even I never thought I would get interested in teaching. My mom was a teacher. I know that she tried to teach in Puerto Rico. She even was my teacher at one point. She taught English and sometimes science in public school and um, she ended up retiring early because she couldn't handle the, the stress uh, especially with the, with the kids that sometimes they don't want to learn. Um, but I, I, I really, I mean, I know that I have to control my character sometimes at work, especially with customers, but uh, I work retail. Um, and sometimes I just have to take a deep breath to deal with some people. Um, but as a teacher, I think it's going to be different to the interactions. But I'm looking forward. I, I like math. I enjoy math. I have an appreciation for math and specifically applied math because it's used in engineering. And if you want to go into engineering or even like in business, if you want to be in, get in business, you will still have to do some math. You know, if you watch, if you watch the show Shark Tank, the questions that they ask, the shark asks the, the people that have the business, they are really mathematical questions that you have to know how to answer them. They involve calculations, and if you don't know how to do those calculations or you're not good at math and interpreting data or making assumptions to estimate things, you are not going to be able to answer those questions, you know. And and true people say, like, oh, I haven't used algebra at all. You know, when you go to a store and you have a certain budget, you have to pretty, you pretty much are doing reverse algebra. Because say, for example, I don't want to spend more than $100 in food today. So then, what can I buy, you know? Then you have to go doing calculations to get it. Because five, I have to. So you're doing calculations indirectly in your head, trying to <coughs> trying to solve those equations, uh, that, that, that problem that you have, you know? You may have done algebra in other ways too, you know? Trying to figure out how much money you need to be able to pay for, or savings you need to pay for, a particular car or a house or a place that you want or something that you wanted to purchase an expensive purchase you know i do math in my boss yeah i do algebra too i make assumptions about it like uh, the basic one is like the income income is easy because it's a rate it's a dollar per hour rate and you can do calculations easily for example if we go by the minimum new york state minimum wage here in this area is 15 dollars an hour so if somebody works 40 hours so you multiply that by 40 hours, you get the total of that, which will be about 600, I think it is. 600 an hour. If you work 20 hours, 20 hours. So I'll multiply that by two. So that will be 300, $300, you know, and this is, before taxes, you know, if you have taxes and you have to calculate taxes and you will get less money, but give you an idea of how much money you can expect in your paycheck, you know, uh, before taxes are taken out or anything like that. So you, are you going to get $600? No, your paycheck is going to probably be less. Even if you work 40 hours at $15 an hour, you're not going to get that $600. You're going to get taxes taken out, uh, federal taxes, um, such as security taxes taken out, Medicare, Medicaid taxes out, and New York State income taxes too, and uh, your paycheck is going to be less than 600. So those 600 could end up being only like 400, maybe less than that, you know. 
Um, which means that even though 15 sounds fantastic great, it is not. It totally is not. Um, and I don't know why we humans think that, oh, $15, that's a great amount of money for work. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, yeah. Um, we, we forget about those things, you know, so like you have to keep that into consideration when you do when you do calculations. And, and I like math. I like modeling uh, in programming. You know, if you program a computer like Python, and that's something that I've been liking to do in Python lately, um, you also have to know math. I'm taking electricity and electronics lately and electricity and electronics. It uses if you are a person that feels interested in learning about electricity and electronics, you need to know math. You need to know algebra because some problems you solve them using algebra, you know, for example, Kirchhoff, uh, Kirchhoff law, uh, Kirchhoff law. Um, it, it, sometimes you have a problem like, okay, I have this source of, um, a voltage, say it's 120 and, uh, I'm connecting it to, uh, uh, to a resistor, um, that is 50, 50 ohms. I want to calculate how much electricity is going to go through this because I would calculate that will size up my wire. What kind of wire do I need for that, you know? And um, so sometimes it will work backwards. You will have the class equation V equals I times R. So, you know, V, you know, R, you want to find the current that will pass through there. And it will give you an idea of how big that wire has to be. So that wire meets um, um, specification. So definitely in electricity and sciences, you need to know algebra you need to be good with numbers it's not a big complicated equation you know it's something simple but you still need to know how to use and solve those equations in order to get a solution that then you can use to size up a wire or for example say you want to see how much uh, a resistor need to be or 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 the voltage you know same thing is it's a it's a equation there. There are other applications that you can do if you get into the area of designing your circuits or if you want to calculate how much kilowatt hour your light is consuming, you can totally find that, that out, you know, how much, how many amps, you know, so you can have an estimate of how much electricity you're consuming in your house. Um, <clears throat> so math is in there, math is everywhere. Math gives you a lot of like understanding of the world around you, you know. Um, we use it to model things, we use it to model stocks, we use it to model like in economics, you know, you use math um, to, 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 take, to, to make certain policies. Like the Fed right now, they're making a policy they want to lower inflation, so they have to keep math in mind because that's a math equation, you know. Um, sometimes things don't follow the exact math, you know, sometimes things don't follow the ideal model, you know, but we use math to model the ideal uh, uh, I, situations to give you an idea of what what is happening out there and i do like math i do like algebra and i'm passionate about it i'm excited about it you know it's different because you teach math in a way that is math but like i like the area of applied math you know and science having gone into science having studied engineering um that's where math for me is fun and becomes more interesting because you can apply to so many different fields and it's fantastic to use math to have an idea of what is happening. And then you can do experiments to, to test that, you know, when when you do a, a model, when you create a model for, for a particular situation that you observe in the environment, you do a model, the model will give you an approximation most likely, then you do experiments and you get data, then you prove and a lot of articles that I found when I was doing my, working on my master project, you know, they were about proving the mathematical model that they propose and that was something that i that i like that that is something that i like you know you can develop a model based on something that you look at and then you can test it and you can get, gather data and you can see how robust and whether your model is, uh, comes close to reality or not and and that is the beauty about math and then of course i play dungeons and dragons too and yes there's math in dungeons and dragons there's algebra you know um, so for example, you're playing a character and you have to attack a, a villain that has an armor class of, of 16 and you only have a plus three bonus. Um, so what's the least roll that you have to roll in the D20? 
so you have to you do maths in there so then you are hoping like i hope i can get, get that roll i hope that i can get that roll you know and um and then you roll and you get a one and then you are sadly doesn't work for you and you get uh, a little bit angry at your die and then you have to toss it away and get a different die in any case um but yeah computer programming too like i have program computer i i if you see one of my past videos i i did a video where i show how to program the computer to create a simple card game where they com the program picks a card from a deck of cards and um and then compares the value you know and uh, you do need to know a little bit of math to program the computer, or at least know how the process of solving that particular problem works in computers, you know. But it's the same here, because there are like, some guidelines for, like, to solve a problem, you know. So, for example, a linear equation, x plus 3 equals 15. x plus 3 equals 15, you know. So we want to find the value of x, you know. So there's a procedure that you do, you know and um to find that value you know and um <clears throat> so you you have to follow the procedure so pretty much when you program a computer you tell that computer how to do the same step by step or if you have a program um you are program the computer to do some calculations in between sometimes you define the variables like this like like i want x and then x is yeah uh, you define the value of x tells you to calculate and then you call this a different variable you know, and then the computer will check the value. And you can give command to the computer. If this is equal to this, then stop. If not, uh, there's no solution, you know, or whatever, you know. So you have to know math. You know, you have to know math. Um, physics. Physics are interesting. And I remember taking physics. It was a tough class. Um, I did okay. I did got to be in college. Um Physics are inter physics is, is is quite interesting, especially the area of uh, movement. You know, and today that's our clubs. You know, you can do calculations with algebra and trigonometry, and you can calculate like they can calculate exactly when it's going to be the next eclipse, uh, eclipse and the path that it will take too. It's quite fascinating, you know. Um, and again, you need math for that, you know. So math is important. Math is an area that it's. It can be hard, it can be frustrating, but once you understand it, you have a very appreci appreciation for everything around you. And I have that appreciation for everything around me because of math. I like math. Even though I like also theater and wrestling and, and, and ventriloquism, and I seem to make my own little creations, but when I make my own little creations, I use math, you know? When I make my own little uh, inventions, I, I use math, you know? Even solving my car problem the, a few weeks, uh, a few months ago, when my lights... When my headlamps, both of them went away, I had to do a little bit uh, of calculation with algebra because I wasn't sure what kind of size wire I needed to use. So I know that they light in my car. They are a specific light, and I'm going to show is this one. And in this light, um, it has uh, the the watts. So I have two of them. So I was able to calculate using the Kirchhoff law. I was able to calculate how much uh, current my lights draw, and based on that, I was able to decide on which wire I could use for to solve the issue with my headlights. So that was something that, if it wasn't for algebra and a little bit of knowledge of electricity, I could have not solved. And I did it. I solved it. I figured it out, and to this day, I haven't had a problem with that. And uh, again, math is useful and even though it may seem that electricity or solving the car problem like it doesn't require a lot of like education for that but you, you, i still need to understand algebra i still need to understand how that works not only the equations that apply for that but i needed to understand how to solve those equations you <coughs> <coughs> and that's how i was able to able to size up the wire that i needed for to solve the problem that i had with my car and again algebra is great and math is great and that's why I like math and that's why I'm excited about teaching math because math can help you get a pers different perspective in life in general you know and, and you can use it to model anything you know you can use it to apply it for many 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 things you know um, and 
and I like it. I like math applied to 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 science. I like math applied to games. I like math applied to com to computer problems. So definitely, I'm excited about being, having the opportunity to to teach people math and help them understand math and maybe help them um, improve their grades and and learn something and and hopefully they can use it whether they go into college and pursue a degree in engineering or in science or they go into a different field it doesn't it, it, it doesn't matter I, I at least give them that idea that and, and and make them feel that they can do math and have their basis and understand math and 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 help them improve and get something better in life and i like math and even though the jobs that i've been doing lately because i got here i don't do most match the computer does it for you. All I'm doing is like catching. Thank you. Thank you for chopping with us. Have a great day. Um, do a little bit of math in terms of like I'm going to give a customer the change, but it's it's so basic. Like like okay, fifteen dollars and ten cents. Okay, I know the value of a quarter. I know how many quarters. You know, uh, it's automatically. I don't even think about that when I give a, the change back to a customer. Uh, when they use cash, most of the transaction lately, people use their credit card or their debit card. So uh, there's not, again, there's not a lot of math. It's more like customer service. Um, but I like math. I like math, math problems. I like math puzzles. I do enjoy math. I do enjoy solving problems um, with math. It's the reason why I went to engineering. It's the reason why I still like engineering. Even accounting for me, I took accounting because uh, I did study I have an associate in business administration and accounting and um accounting too. You you do math, um you do a little bit of algebra sometimes because the credits and the debits have to balance when you when you're doing the journal entries. And um true, accounting gives you some specific rules of what to happen, you know. It's about debits and credits and they have to balance, they have to equal each other when you do the journal entries. And it's not a lot of math, it may not seem a lot of math, but you need to know math because sometimes you have to do some calculations. Depreciation, that's algebra, um, you have to figure that one out. Um, for wages, you know, you need to do calculations. You have to like math if you go to accounting and business, you know. Um, business math, that was a good one, a fun one too, especially with interest rates, calculate interest rates, how much money you're going to have in the future or how much money you need now. Um, those work calculations that I learned how to do. I haven't used them in a while, but you need to understand in math and algebra is important for to be able to understand those things. So definitely I'm happy that I'm getting this position and I'm excited about it. But at the same time, I will admit it because I never worked as a teacher before. Um, I have worked as a tutor, but tutor being a tutor is one thing. Being a teacher is a total different thing. I feel nervous. I don't know what to expect. I know that me understanding math, I can understand it. And, and now how can I explain that to somebody that is younger than me in a way that is interesting for them so that way they understand it too. That to me, it's an art in itself. And this is going to be interesting for me because it, it's I will have to keep that in mind. But at the same time, hopefully, hopefully I can get my message across and become better as time goes by. I I I really just hope that that I do well, and uh, I I hope that the 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 class goes well. That I don't have many issues with the with the kids, you know. Um, I I I felt a little bit a little bit scared, a little bit overwhelmed too. But I I think it's going to go fine. It's going to be okay. I think I will do okay. Um, but. We'll see. It's not only until I get there and I start teaching that I will find out whether that's the case or not. Um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. And we'll see what happens. You know, maybe this is the beginning of something later. Maybe I can move afterwards to teaching um, in a local community college. You know, algebra is still taught, other math classes. I mean, I don't know if I will have to get more certifications. I don't know how I'm going to pay for that because I already have so much stone on there that take, paying for more classes could be difficult in my opinion with uh the solo loan debt in there um and i already got my solo debt starting again and paying a lot of money so i don't know i really don't know how this is going to go 
but I will do my best and I'm uh, looking forward to it and hopefully I can I can teach kids algebra. Anyway, that's how I got. Hopefully it's a good day today. And if you are watching the clips, have fun. Bye.